don't post it on social media because that is just creepy and boneless wings are just fat nuggets. My primary complaint this week is just a simple ask, a request. Whenever I'm ordering boneless buffalo wings, which Reed has an issue with, and we're going to hear about this in a moment. Whenever I'm ordering boneless buffalo wings, or just wings for that matter, Jacob, that, that have buffalo sauce on them, and you place that order, after placing the order, I don't need to be asked this question. What sauce would you like on your wings? I don't know. Maybe that vinegar-based cayenne pepper sauce that you mix with butter that's called buffalo sauce on my buffalo wings. That's my primary complaint. I, too, have an issue with your boneless <laughs> wings, but I'll save that for another week and let Reed just knock this thing out of the park <laughs> as you just lobbed it up to him uh, in a slow-pitch softball style. My primary complaint is for the doctor's office protocol of alerting you to an appointment. Had a doctor's appointment this morning. Nothing serious. A little bit of a checkup. And Whole fist? I got half this oh, time. Okay. Thank God. That's why I'm sitting <laughs> normally over there. I received, I'm not even kidding, and I went through and counted this morning, seven <laughs> alerts via text. I got two calls, voicemails, Seven alerts about this one doctor's appointment. I confirmed the doctor's appointment by pressing one three separate times. I like people who are thorough. I like that they want us to know that we have an appointment so we don't miss it and they cover themselves that way. But I think when we get to seven text messages to alert you of a doctor's appointment and two phone calls, we've probably gone a little bit too far with it. Let's scale back a bit. If you want to remind me a week out, and then again, the day before, I'm fine with that. I will even press one to confirm. But don't text me seven times about a singular doctor's appointment. Please and thank you. David Reed. So uh, my primary complaint is for the fathers out there. And not all fathers. I'm talking about new fathers. Just me. <laughs> I just, just Chad. He's a terrible dad. It's horrible. Awful. Don't even let your... Uh, kids hate me. Yeah, don't let, don't let your kids go over to the Whipple dead household. <laughs> um, the new fathers out there, look, it's raise your children however you want to. But I, I know that some career academic has told you that it's good for the child and bonding for you fathers to take your shirt off and press the newborn baby gently against your breasts so they can have that skin-to-skin -skin contact. If that's what you want to do, that's perfectly fine with me. But don't post it on social media because that is just creepy. And boneless wings are just fat nuggets. <laughs> I, don't, I don't disagree with that take, by the way, but it's what it is on the menu, so I order that on the menu. I, it, boneless wings, buffalo wings are, to me, in buffalo sauce. Like that, that takes off, that, that's saving time on that. I don't need to be asked what sauce the, I want on my buffalo wings. The only appropriate question after you order buffalo wings is, do you want the hot or medium or mild buffalo sauce? Because it can come in different temperatures. But it should not be At a, this establishment, there's one. Do you want the teriyaki one. sauce? Would you like the Parmesan it's sauce? Not. No, it's, if it's buffalo, it's buffalo. I'm with you on that. Now, the boneless wing part, my issue with boneless wings, first off, I have no issue with uh, meat on a bone. Some people have a big problem with that. They're yeah. grossed out by it. I got no issue eating meat off a of bone. But also, there's something very unnatural about the boneless wing. It, I, you there's feel like something it, it, there's a hot dog it. element to it where you don't yes. know what's in it? There's almost like a stuffing in it. Yeah. Like you bite into a boneless wing, and I feel like they've filled in the edges with something not natural. Whereas when I'm eating a chicken wing, I know what I'm eating. I'm eating fried chicken skin and chicken meat covered, <laughs> slathered in some sort of sauce. I know what I'm eating there, and I like it. But here's where I'm going to be a bit of a hypocrite. I don't care to know what I'm eating in a hot dog, and I'll eat them all day. <laughs> I don't, don't care about it at all. But if given the option, you know, if I go to a restaurant and it says, here is an all-beef, and here's the part of the cow it comes from, hot dog, versus here's a hot dog that's a mystery. No clue what you're eating in that. I'm taking the one that I know where it is. I feel the same way about the, the bone-in chicken wing versus the boneless wing. Here they are giving you the option to eat God's gift to us, which is chicken wings, that we know what it is. It's a chicken wing, and they, they fry it, and they put sauce on it. When they give you the boneless wing, Reed may agree or disagree, but there's something different about 
biting into a well no Reed, reed's take is if you're eating chicken off the bone you're not eating it like a like a man was created to eat chicken like that that's his take i'm paraphrasing a bit there Reed, correct me if i'm wrong no, I mean, there, there, there's some aspect to it. I just hate that they're calling them boneless wings because it's not the same type of meat. As it's not. You think it's the scraps wings. of the chicken that they're throwing in and just frying it up to make it, they're just selling it like... Uh, it's the same thing as a nugget. It's just battered different. They're calling it boneless wings. I have, but also, this, is, this is a complaint I have of a friend of mine. He only eats traditional bone-in wings. But he also devours all of the cartilage and joint off oh. of the bone. Oh. <laughs> and it is absolutely, it's obscene to watch this happen. I'm not going to name names, Steve. Uh, um, sorry. Jacob but. Swanson, <laughs> we won't name names. Hey, Jacob, would you like some ranch with that marrow that you're eating? <laughs> That's disgusting. Wash it down with some iron. I, I will say my parents marvel, even at a young age, <laughs> they would go get you know KFC or whatever for dinner. Yeah. And they would just sit back. I would be five or six. And I mean, I would eat it down to the gristle oh. on the bone. And they uh, said, like, we were, like, you had no issues. Like, a lot of kids would get grossed out or stop at some point. They're like, I was basically sucking on the bone by the end of it. <laughs> it was so dry that I would eat every part of the chicken leg, the thigh, whatever. Let me tell you something. Another gift is watching this man <laughs> suck on a bone. <laughs> I, am, I am a caveman in every way. Every way, shape, and form. <laughs> got to make do with what's in front of you at times. If that includes sucking on a bone, you got to do it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time Outkick 360 goes live. We are live weekdays, 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, right here across the Outkick network. And while you're at it, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below.